senior student athletes of the class of 2014. I would like to thank you all for attending the celebration of the accomplishments of the senior class. My name is Michaela McCrudden, and I'm a senior captain of the women's volleyball team. On behalf of all of us, I would like to first thank the athletics department staff who work hard day in and day out to ensure we reach our potentials as athletes and for giving us this opportunity to celebrate together as a class. Particularly, I would like to thank Toby Lavecchio for guiding this esteemed athletics department and going above and beyond in his dedication to his job. Next, I would like to thank Kevin Southern and Randy Shemansky, whose royal wrap-ups following games and matches arrive in our email inboxes even before we step onto the bus to return from an away game. Another vital part of our athletics department is the athletic training staff of Kerry, Kristen, and Nick, who are present at every home game and helping us to treat injuries on every day, on every other day of the week. Aaron McGuire and Steve Klingman are other vital personnel of the athletics department, doing anything from scheduling to finance and everything in between. Another major aspect of the, of the athletics department is the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, which would not be nearly as successful as it is without the guidance of Colleen Murphy. I would also like to thank Dr. Dammer, who is the NCAA faculty athletics representative for the university. All the faculty mentors who take time out of their busy schedules to support us as athletes, and Mr. Robert Davis, the chief of staff of the athletics office, for his support of university athletics. As you can see, a lot of action happens behind the scenes, and our athletic careers would, would not be possible without every part. Waking up to a text message with an inspirational quote from a teammate could only mean one thing, it's game day. Game days were characterized by being physically unable to sit still or concentrate during class all day until the time came to step onto the court, the field, or the pool deck. And I think we can all relate to the pre-game jitters before and during warm-ups. However, when that first whistle blows and it is time to play, we forget about everything else. That big test we have tomorrow, the stress about grad school applications, and focus on the task at hand, game day. We are Division Three athletes. We don't get scholarships, play in front of thousands of people, or make the front page of major newspapers. We play for our teammates, for our coaches, for our school, for our parents and best friends that show up to every game, and most importantly, for ourselves and for our love of the game. To be a Division Three athlete, a student athlete needs to be truly outstanding in both parts of the word, equally student and athlete. First, the individual must keep up with schoolwork and have a genuine understanding of the main reason for attending the university, to earn a college degree. Second, we must devote much of our daily routine to our respective sports. Daily practices, lifting sessions, long bus rides to away games, and team meetings are just the day, are just the day in the life of a student athlete. Many of you, like my, fellow, like my fellow senior and teammate Kelly Johnson and I, probably started freshman year with a larger number of teammates than remained with you until your senior season. Dedicating four years to a collegiate sport isn't easy, but each student athlete here is proof of your commitment both to your academics and to your athletic accomplishments. And I would like to thank Kelly for being by my side and being my teammate these past four years. I'm standing in front, I'm standing in front of such a talented group of athletes whom I am so proud to call my classmates and friends. In the past four years, Scranton Athletics has won an impressive total of 11 Landmark Conference Championships. We have sent one team to the Sweet 16 and two teams to the Elite Eight. We have placed numerous athletes on all conference teams and the academic honor roll. Two females were named Lamer Conference Senior Stellar Athletes, and the list goes on. I would say we have left our marks on Scranton Athletics. One of my favorite quotes comes from my childhood idol and world-renowned soccer star, Mia Hamm. She says, somewhere behind the athlete you've become and the hours of practice and the coaches who have pushed you, is a little girl who fell in love with the game and never looked back. Play for her. I can't help but think of myself when I was nine years old and holding my first volleyball, understanding very little about how the game and how it is played. When I stepped onto the court at Juniata College for a Landmark Conference semifinal game this past season, that quote and picture of myself was ingrained in my mind. If that was my last time playing as a collegiate athlete, I was gonna make it a good one. And boy were my, ex and boy were my expectations surpassed. No, we didn't beat the reigning conference champion for the past seven years, but we did take a step from them for the first time since 1999, and, just, and for just the second time in the all-time series, which dates back to 1979. 
It was also the first set Juniata dropped to a conference opponent all season. Things like this make all the hard work worth it. We went onto that court and gave it 100%, and I hope all of you can say that about your last time playing as a collegiate athlete. I recently read an article entitled Division Three Athletes, where athletes play to win, play for fun, and are true student athletes. That title really stuck with me. The competitiveness of D3 athletics is no different than at higher levels. We want it just as much as the, as the man or woman in the different color uniform. I learned how to count on my teammates to pick me up when things didn't go our way in the end. Volleyball is a unique sport in that we have multiple games on the weekends, sometimes having to play four games in the span of two days. Bouncing back can be a really hard thing to do for any athlete, especially when the starting whistle to your next game is blowing just 30 minutes after a heartbreaking loss. I've had to push through mistakes, frustrations, and even some tears in order to have a fresh mindset for the next game. I could never have done this without the help of my teammates, who are, who are my biggest supporters, even when I am not fully supporting myself. We are constantly in each other's lives, whether we like it or not. Together we eat our meals, spend nights in hotel rooms, endure long bus rides, and help each other be the best we can be as individuals. My athletic, on the volleyball team, my athletic journey on the volleyball team has been a roller coaster, but also a roller coaster I would not have dared gotten off of. I know what it's like to start every game all season, but I also know what it's like to support my teammates from the bench. I had to selflessly learn that every person on the team is an integral part, like pieces to the puzzle. The players on the bench are just as important as those out on the court. If all the pieces are not there, it is not complete. Other parts of the puzzle of our athletic journey are our parents and our coaches. Between travel, sports, school, and other activities, my parents were constantly in their cars driving my brothers and I everywhere. They give up so much of their personal time to come watch us play, whether it be a weeknight after a long work day or a weekend when my dad was giving up a day of watching golf or college lacrosse. They believe in us when we do not believe in ourselves. They are our biggest cheerleaders, succeed or fail. Can I please have a round of applause for all our parents? Next are our coaches, who not only support us in our athletic endeavors, but also in our personal lives. They have cared about, about us as students, as athletes, as individuals. Without the constant guidance and perseverance of our coaches, each one of us would not have reached our potentials as athletes. Can I please have a round of applause for all of our coaches? In the next couple of years, it won't matter how many games you won, how many goals you scored, or how many home runs you hit. What you will be left with is the pride that you are a Division III student athlete, which few can claim. Teamwork, leadership, and hard work are second nature to us. I am standing in front of some of the most amazing people I have ever met while here at Scranton, and I would like to congratulate each one of you on not only your athletic accomplishments, but also on receiving a college degree. I would like to leave you with a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt, who said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. I hope each one of you fulfills your dreams and lives by the Jesuit ideals that St. Ignatius of Loyola has set for us. And remember, we will always be royals. Thank you.